Yes, the fear in Ironbridge had been that the river might overtop the temporary flood barrier. That's the blue line you can see there, which protects around 15 to 20 homes and businesses. But what's happened instead is the force of the water, uh, prolonged now for so many days, has shunted and buckled parts of the barrier, damaging the seal. And instead, water is starting to seep underneath. So that's why the evacuations of riverside properties took place here today. That's why the threat to life warning was put in place. And in the worst case scenario, six feet of water could get into those homes if the barrier fails. But it's holding at the moment. The pumps are there working. And right now the river level is dropping slightly. Peter in Ivorish, thank you for now. Well, just a few miles away in Budley is our reporter, Vincent McAvinney. And Vincent, what's the situation where you are? Well, Danny, further downstream here in Budley, you can see just how swollen and fast moving the River Severn is. Now, the barriers are under incredible pressure. I'm told 520 tonnes per second. But on this side of the river, they have managed to withstand it. But on the other side of the river, they have been overwhelmed. Just before midnight on Beale's Corner, the floodwaters began trickling over the barriers before turning into a torrent. 38 properties have been flooded or at risk. Some people are refusing to leave their homes, but for Amanda Price and her family, it was time to bail out. He's in the basement where it's just about to, to go now. We haven't yet had any water come into the property, but we've got about five centimetres to go before the basement is then going to start coming through and we'll be at water level inside the house. We've got flood barriers at the front door, we've got sandbags, uh, we have got a pump, but obviously it's not working due to the influx of water around the area. We're just waiting now. For now, they're being put up for free in this pub on the opposite side of the river. So far, this bank's defences have held, but it's still an unsettling view. So the, uh, the water is nearly at the top of the barrier. It's just yeah. two slats. The pub used to flood before these barriers. They're just over two metres high and have been reinforced, but residents are still worried they might not be tall enough. It's not going to be a good situation if that happens. We've prepared already this morning with some sandbags just in case it does breach the barrier. Um, but, yeah, we, we, I mean, we, to be fair, we haven't thought about what we will do if it, uh, if it does come over. At Prime Minister's questions, Boris Johnson's much-discussed absence during the flooding was criticised, but his Environment Secretary defended the government's response. Had we had the weather we've just suffered uh, in these last few weeks, uh, just a decade ago, there would have been 50,000 homes uh, that were flooded. So we have had a number of reviews into our flood policy, um, and into our response and everything else, uh, and um, what we've done in the last few years has worked as we would have expected. Small comfort for those whose homes are still at risk, though. How he can say that, oh, yeah, we've, we've um, spent money and no, you know, no inquiries required, no, you learn from it and you change things again because it's just not enough. For now, for everyone in Budley, another anxious night lies ahead. So, Vincent, what's the situation looking like there for the rest of the week? Well, the river here is expected to come close to its highest ever recorded level in the next few hours. But with forecasters warning of more bad weather along the way, unfortunately, that could lead to more flooding along the River Severn. And they've also put out more warnings tonight. The Environment Agency saying that there could be possible flooding on the River Y, Ouse and Trent, as well as some more localised flooding, particularly with some really bad rain to come on Friday.